Hey friends, ever wondered about the deepest point in the sea, the Mariana Trench? Let's explore. The location. Located in the Western Pacific, east of the Philippines, and an average of approximately 124 miles east of the Mariana Islands, the Mariana Trench is a crescent-shaped scar in the Earth's crust that measures more than 1,500 miles long and 43 miles wide on average. The distance between the surface of the ocean and the trench's deepest point, the Challenger Deep, which lies about 200 miles southwest of the U.S. territory of Guam, is nearly seven miles. If Mount Everest were dropped into the Mariana Trench, its peak would still be more than a mile underwater. Challenger Deep. This is the specific deepest point within the larger trench. The Challenger Deep is approximately 10,184 meters deep. The first and only time humans descended into the Challenger Deep was more than 50 years ago. In 1960, Jacques Picard and Navy Latiner Don Walsh reached this goal in a U.S. Navy submersible, a bathyscaphe called the Trieste. After a five-hour descent, the pair spent only a scant 20 minutes at the bottom and were unable to take any photographs due to clouds of silt stirred up by their passage. A matter of comparison. To put the depth into perspective, if Mount Everest, the world's tallest mountain, were placed at the bottom of the Mariana Trench, its peak would still be about 1.2 miles, 2 kilometers below sea level. Life in Mariana Trench Life exists in the trench, but it must withstand the intense pressure, near-freezing temperatures, and complete darkness. One of the region's top predators is a deceptively vulnerable-looking fish, in 2017, scientists reported they had collected specimens of an unusual creature, dubbed the Mariana snailfish, which lives at a depth of about 26,200 feet, $8,000 meters. The snailfish's small, pink, and scaleless body. The three most common organisms at the bottom of the Mariana Trench are xenophyophores, amphipods, and small sea cucumbers. The single-celled xenophyophores resemble giant amoebas, and they eat by surrounding and absorbing their food. Amphipods are shiny, shrimp-like scavengers commonly found in deep-sea trenches. How they survived down there was a bit of a mystery, because amphipod shells dissolve easily in the high pressures of the Mariana Trench. But in 2019, Japanese researchers found that at least one species of the Mariana Trench dwellers uses aluminum, extracted from seawater, to shore up its shell. Scientists are particularly interested in microorganisms living in the trenches, which they say could lead to breakthroughs in biomedicine and biotechnology. The Mariana Trench's microscopic inhabitants might even shed light on the emergence of life on Earth. Some researchers, such as Patricia Fryer at Alat University of Hawaii, have speculated that serpentine mud volcanoes located near ocean trenches might have provided the right conditions for our planet's first life forms. Additionally, studying rocks from ocean trenches could lead to a better understanding of the earthquakes that create the powerful and devastating tsunamis seen around the Pacific Rim, geologists say. Thank you for watching. See you next time.